If running terminology confuses you, or you just want to simply see how many running terms you know, you're in the right place. Now as runners, we're exposed to a whole assortment of words and definitions. So why not create a running dictionary? Over 621 million people run. Okay, so this may sound crazy here, but if runners had their own language, we would rank number two in the world for popularity. Now here's a list of languages ranked by the number of people that speak them. And the funny thing is, if runners created their own language, this is where we'd rank, number two. Now these companies can't help you with run speak, but maybe I can. I divide the terminology into seven sections. Popular distance terms, racing terms, workout terms, types of runners, physiological terms, nutrition terms, anatomical terms, gear terms, and finally, a sampling of major running organizations. Now that's not complete running organizations, but just to give you a small sampling, because there are hundreds of them. Now we'll start with some of the easier terms, distances. 100 and 200 meters are measured distances on a track. 4, 8, 12, and 1600 meters can simply be measured by the number of laps around a track. And the metric mile is four laps. Whether you're a recreational athlete or an Olympian, we all follow the same rules. Now other popular distances are 5K, 3.1 miles, 8K, 5 miles, 10K, 6.2 miles, 15K, 9.3 miles, the half marathon, 13.1 miles, the marathon is 26.2 miles, and 50K through 31 are considered ultra distances. Now let's go over some racing terms. Aid stations tend to injuries, dehydration, etc. for runners participating in the event. They usually consist of tents, tables, and medical staff. Athena is a category of female runners distinguished by weight. Back-to-back -back marathons are when people run them two or sometimes three weeks apart. A bandit is someone caught running an event, but not registered. Beer mile is where you chug one beer before each lap of a track and that's four laps in total. A bib is a rectangular piece of paper or Tyvek with your assigned race number, usually attached to the front of your racing shirt. Bling is a reward for participating in a running event and or winning a category. Now BQ is an acronym for Boston Qualifier. You need to meet certain time standard criteria to be considered for that event. Bucket list for runners is typically a list of races the runner would like to run before they die. Certified course is a running course whose distance is certified as accurate. Tricked is being passed by a woman. A chip is a timing device usually attached to your shoe or to your bib. A climb refers to the elevation gain on a course. Clydesdale is a race category for heavy male runners. A corral consists of sectioned areas of runners based upon pace that form behind the starting line. Course record is a record time for a course. There can be separate female course records as well. DFL is an acronym for dead freaking last, or something like that. DNS means did not start, maybe overslept. DNF means did not finish. A double track trail allows runners to run in both directions. Drafting is when you tuck yourself behind another runner and let them block the wind. Scientifically proven to create an advantage. Elevation gain is the same as climb as it relates to a course. Front runner is a runner who likes to be in the lead during a race. Gear check is the place where you check your gear before your race. Geezer, passed by a very old person. GMP is an acronym for goal marathon pace. And a quick shout out to Ed Whitlock, who was an older runner who did some fantastic times. Going out too early is descriptive of a runner who expends too much energy in the very initial stages of the race. A kick is typically that last all-out effort or sprint with the finish line in sight. More in the tank is that extra little reserve of energy in your body. Some quick acronyms, MP, Marathon Pace, NCR, NR, acronyms for New Course Record, National Record, Negative Splits. Simply running the second half of a race faster than the first half. In this example, the second half was 10 minutes faster than the first half. OCR is Obstacle Course Racing. Out and back is a course where runners will run out to a turnaround point and run back to the starting area. Park Run. These are organized free weekly ton 5k runs that take place on Saturday morning all over the world. Peak. Certain runners have a training program created so they can have their best time performance or peak on a certain day. PR means personal record. A rabbit is a pace setter for the other runners in a race. Race pace is the pace in miles per minute or kilometers that you race a specific distance. Road race, 
a race held on a measured roadway. Rolling admission is a registration process that allows for the fastest qualifiers to register first. Run fee, basically a running selfie. Single track is a course or path wide enough for one runner at a time. Splits are a slice of time for measured distance. In this case, it's the first and second half of a marathon. A surge is a quick acceleration like when you're trying to pass someone. Swag is kind of like a goodie bag you receive at a race, full of free product. Zigzag. Switchbacks are a course or trail that have a zigzag. Tapering is a reduction of volume or intensity in the training program. It may start, for example, three weeks before a marathon. Technical refers to a course's degree of difficulty. Rock climbs, water hazard, elevation gains, etc. Tommy mat is an electronic device to capture a runner's time. Top of the line is getting in a stance to start a race. Vert or vertical gain is the elevation gain you achieve in a runner or a workout. Volunteer is a person donating their time to help out during a race. A wave start is staggered starts with a short time delay between each group. Wind assisted means a wind that assists the runner to a faster time. WR is an acronym for world record. Active recovery run is a run at low intensity following a strenuous running workout. Altitude training is training at a high elevation. Aqua jogging is jogging in water, and that's an aqua treadmill. For those triathletes, a brick workout, it's two workouts back to back involving two of the three disciplines, running, swimming, or cycling. C to 5K is an acronym for couch to 5K, a running program to get you off the couch to running a 5K. While running, if you can hold a conversation without gasping for air, it's considered a conversational pace. Cool down is that last phase of your workout where you slow down your running pace. To benefit your running, you can also train in another discipline, such as cycling, swimming, or weightlifting. Cutdown intervals describe an interval workout where distance is incrementally decreased in sequence while speed is increased. Cutdown runs describe an interval workout where time is incrementally decreased in sequence. A cutdown tempo run is a workout where your tempo or pace is incrementally decreased. Doubles refers to two running workouts in one day. Dynamic stretching refers to a stretch where active movements are made to stretch the muscle into their full range of motion. Fartlek is a Swedish term meaning speed play. It's continuous running with interval training mixed in. Fell running, running downhill, hit high intensity interval training. Fell training is training on hills. Interval training is alternating short bursts of intense activity with longer intervals of less intense activity. For example, going to the track for quarter mile repeats. Jump miles refers to mileage that is without a specific training purpose. Ladder intervals are intervals at distances that progress up, peak, and then progress back down at a targeted pace. Contrary to what you might think, LSD is an acronym for long, slow distance. MPM means minutes per mile. MPW is an acronym for miles per week. Overtraining means you're training too hard and for too long, and it may lead to injury. Pace is the speed which you are running, typically expressed as minutes per mile. Pacing means helping someone in their workout or race to keep a pace. Passive recovery, total rest day, critical provide muscle repair, and possibly mental rest as well. Periodization is a structured training program that will gradually bring a runner to a peak performance. Pickups are accelerations in running speed over short distance. Plyometrics is a type of training program that incorporates jumping and explosive movement to build muscle power. Pyramid intervals get their name, there are intervals that get their name from the step up, step down process, almost looking like the steps of a pyramid that go up and down. Quality workouts have a specific training purpose, as opposed to junk miles, which are really intended just to rack up your mileage. A recovery run is an easy run that takes place a day or two after an intense workout or a race. A rest day is a day that no running takes place. It's usually after a hard effort, such as a race or an intense workout session. The run-walk-run method is just that, popularized by Jeff Galloway. run procrastination is putting your things-to-do list aside and going for that all-important run. Runner stank, the bad smelling of a person or clothing. Running base is the running foundation required for more specific and more intense workouts. Specificity training is training that is directly related to the sport you participate in. For us, running. Speed work is a workout working on your speed. Static stretching is holding your stretch for an extended period of time, such as 10 to 30 seconds. 
Strength training includes weightlifting, bodyweight exercises, stretch bands, etc. Strides, a drill of quick paced running at a short distance. Talk test, being able to hold a conversation while you're running. Tempo run, a run done at about 80% effort, described as comfortably hard, which includes a good warm up and cool down. The 10% rule states that you shouldn't increase your total weekly mileage by more than 10% from your prior week. You typically risk injury if you disregard this rule. A track is that large oval venue measuring 440 yards or 400 meters. A training log is simply that, a log to record your training results. Now these days many running watches connect to smartphone apps via Bluetooth. A warm-up is considered light running for purposes of warming up your muscles. Wind chill is how you feel when outside. It basically takes the temperature and subtracts the wind speed. Yasso 800 refers to a discovery made by Bart Yasso of Runner's World magazine that stated by running 10 800s with a 400 yard recovery in between, you could predict your marathon time. For example, if you did those 10 800s in an average of three minutes, you'd probably run a three hour marathon. Let's go through some types of runners. How about a brand ambassador, a runner who promotes a brand in exchange for money or free product? A carrot, an attractive runner who pulls you along with their race pace. A downhill warrior, they may struggle on uphills and flats, but on downhills they can really excel. An elite runner, this terminology can vary by context, but suffice to say, elite runners are at the top of their game. FOMO simply means the fear of missing out. Hash House Harriers is an international group of non-competitive running social clubs. They run, get thirsty, and drink beer. A junior is any athlete who is under 20 on December 31st of that year. A maniac is someone who belongs to the Marathon Maniacs Club. Master is a race category referring to any athlete over 40. The minimalist running movement proposed removal of deep cushioning on running shoes in favor of minimal padding. Naked running could be just that, or it could also be defined as running without your gadgets like your watch, your phone, your earbuds, etc. Newbie, a new runner to the running community. Always give them a hearty welcome. A road runner does their running on the roads. A run home, well, a running centric person who neglects their friends, family, and significant others in pursuit of their training. They also irritate people with their incessant run talk. And as you can tell, it's similar to another derogatory term. Runner, run, and running envy. Envious of those getting age group awards? Or maybe you're just injured and you're just envious of everyone else running out there. A sandbag is that runner that says, oh, I'm under train, I may not finish, but then pulls out a PR after the race, misrepresenting their training. Sponsored, which is subsidized or funded by a company. Streaking is consecutive days of running. It could be months or years. Trackster is a term for track runners. Trail running, you guessed it, running on trails. Triathletes, those that run and also bike and swim. Ultramarathoner, those that run ultramarathons, more than 26.2 miles. Weather stalking, obsessively stalking weather forecasts to see what it's going to look like when you run. XC is an acronym for cross country. A second wind is a renewed feeling of energy. Aerobic, it's exercises such as running which are intended to improve the efficiency of the body's cardiovascular system. Anaerobic is distinguished by short, high intensity bursts of physical activity or exercise. Anaerobic threshold and lactate threshold. It's the fastest you can run to produce and clear out lactate at an equal rate. Barefoot running, running in bare feet. Black toenails, often caused by ill-fitting running shoes and oftentimes just the result of toe trauma during a marathon. BMI or body mass index. It's simply a measure of body fat based upon your height and weight. Also known as hitting the wall, it's where your glycogen stores are empty. BPM, a heart rate acronym for beats per minute. Breathing rhythm, the rate you breathe based upon your foot strikes. Cadence is the leg turnover of both legs per minute of running. A cadence of 180 is considered to be the gold standard for runners. Blue brown is a cryptic message. It's a situation when you've pooped on the run or just about to. Another interesting term, crop dusting. That's the act of running past others while passing gas. Oh boy, I'm glad we're through with those terms. Dehydration is a lack of water in your body. DOMS is an acronym for delayed onset muscle soreness, usually occurring 24 to 48 hours after a strenuous running activity. Endorphins are natural painkillers that the body releases in order to respond to pain and or stress. 
They create a sense of well-being, also known as runner's high. Endurance is the ability to sustain a prolonged stressful effort or activity, such as running. We're endurance runners and endurance athletes. A farmer blow is considered clearing the mucus from your nasal passages, also known as a snot rocket. Fitness leak. Basically, it's failure to hold it in. Well, I'm glad we're through those definitions. Glycogen is stored in your muscles for when your body needs energy. Heat index is a number that combines air temperature and relative humidity. Hitting the wall is a state where energy is depleted and you feel like you've run into a wall. Ice baths are a bath filled with ice. They can help your legs recover better from a hard workout. Joggers' nipples are a rash on the nipples, usually caused by friction on your shirt, singlet, etc. Lactic acid is that burning feeling you feel in your muscles after a hard workout. MHR is an acronym for maximum heart rate. Overuse injury is an injury resulting from repetitively using a body part, such as your leg, feet, etc., over a specific time period. Piriformis syndrome is when the piriformis muscle spasms and compresses the sciatic nerve. Plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of the plantar fascia, which is that thick band on the bottom of your foot. Resting heart rate is beats per minute of your heart at rest. RICE is an acronym for Rest, Ice, Compression, and Elevation. It's the standard go-to protocol for treating an injury. Runchies is a hunger condition resulting from running. Rungry is similar but adds an element of anger to it. Runner's high is that sense of well-being, oftentimes called euphoria, resulting from the release of endorphins. Runner's trots, it's simply runner's diarrhea. Running economy is all about running efficiency. Running form is a term to describe the mechanics of running. Okay, how about shart? Okay, I'll be blunt here. It's a combination of a shit and a fart. A side stitch is that stabbing pain on either side of your stomach. Tendonitis is basically an inflamed tendon. We've talked about the wall before. It's basically when your energy stores are zapped, usually occurring around mile 20, 21 in a marathon. VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen your body can process. Carbs is short for carbohydrates, and carb loading is loading up on carbohydrates, such as eating a lot of pasta. Energy bars are quick energy in the form of carbohydrates delivered in a compact package. Energy also comes in the form of gels, gummy bears, and energy drinks. Proteins, on the other hand, help build and repair muscle. Foods such as eggs and steak are high in protein now go to some anatomical terms. The abdomen contains all the digestive organs. The Achilles tendon runs along the back of the ankle. Chafing is skin rubbing against skin. The chub rub is chafing on the inner thighs. A face plant is basically falling flat on your face. Flat or low arch, the foot lays flat on the ground with no or very little arch to the foot. Foot strike is where and how your foot strikes the ground. It has been studied and analyzed by many. Gait is basically your running form. Gait analysis provides tips for improvement and or injury prevention. Hamstrings are the muscles at the back of your thigh. The arch is that upward curve on the bottom of your foot. ITBS is an acronym for iliotibial band syndrome. Midfoot strike is when the middle part of your foot strikes the ground. Normal or medium arch is displayed in the left part of this diagram. Pronation is the way your foot rolls inward for impact distribution. The muscles on your thighs are called your quads. Quad Buster is a workout that makes your quads burn. RFS is an acronym for rear foot strike. Runner's knee is one of the most common overuse injuries in running. Shin splints means shin pain. Shock absorption usually refers to the knees and the shoes and how they absorb shock. Stress fracture is a very fine crack in your bone, oftentimes found on the foot. Supination is a term to describe underpronating. That's when your body weight falls on the outside of your foot when you're running. Compression socks are tight knee socks worn by runners. They help blood flow and overall muscle recovery. Dreadmill, a term to describe the dread of running on a treadmill. It refers to the drop in centimeters from the heel to the toe in a running shoe. A drop bag contains your personal race day items that you can drop off at an aid station. Elliptical, it's a low impact exercise machine that simulates a running motion. Floor mat is used to cover the floor for exercising and sometimes placed under a treadmill to dampen the noise. A foam roller is a type of self-massage using a cylindrical shaped object. 
A fuel belt usually contained liquids, but now they have devices that hold your keys, your phone, etc. Gaiters are a piece of fabric attached over the shoe to prevent dirt, sand, etc. from getting to the shoe itself. GPS is an acronym for Global Positioning System. This feature is found in almost every running watch today to track your distance and route. Heart rate monitoring is also done through these watches, either through the wrist or sometimes through a strap around the chest. Heel counters are in the rear of the shoe, responsible for rear foot stability. A hydration pack is a type of mini backpack that holds water while you're running. A last is a term to describe the shape of the shoe. Midsole refers to the cushion material that lies between the upper and the outsole. Special wicking clothing is clothing that has material treated with a solution to prevent water absorption. It wicks moisture and sweat from the skin. Motion control is the ability to control a runner's foot motion while running. Orthotics are custom-made insoles that can counteract any running mechanics or physical foot problems. The outsole is the bottom of your running shoe. Stride is a term to describe how your shoe feels from heel to toe off. Running tights are full-length leg wear to keep runners warm. Shell is a very light jacket. Singlet is a lightweight tank top typically seen in races. Technical clothing is high quality clothing usually combining wicking moisture and keeping odor to a minimum. Toe box is at the front of your running shoe where your toes are. The tongue of the shoe is that tab directly under the shoelaces. Upper is the upper part of the running shoe. Wicking is the characteristic of a clothing fiber to move moisture away from your skin. Zero drop refers to the equal height between the heel and the forefoot in the shoe. Now there are tons of running organizations. Here's just a few. IAAF, an acronym for International Amateur Athletic Foundation. The IAAF was founded in 1912 as the International Amateur Athletic Federation but changed its name to the International Association of Athletics Federations in 2001. In 2020, it once again changed to the World Athletics. It is the international governing body for the sport of athletics, which includes running. IOC is an acronym for the International Olympic Committee. Marathon Maniacs is a club for runners who are crazy about running marathons. That's crazy in a good way. RRCA is an acronym for Roadrunners Club of America, which is a nonprofit organization founded way back in 1958. It is the oldest and largest national running organization. USATF is an acronym for USA Track and Field. The World Marathon Majors are a collective group of six major marathon races. Berlin Marathon, Boston Marathon, Chicago Marathon, London Marathon, New York City Marathon, and the Tokyo Marathon. Founded in 1999, World Run Day is an international day of running with a virtual run component and charity component. It's held worldwide, typically in November. Now that's what I consider to be the top 250 or so running terms. If you feel that there are running terms that are very popular or missing, please register them in the comments below and put your terminology or your definitions there so that I can look at them later. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that like button.